So there are continuing rumors about Carmelo Anthony potentially leaving New York Knicks. So there are two potential teams that want him, the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Houston Rockets. So my question for today, where is Melo going to go? Or will he leave New York, the New York Knicks? What do you got, Cynthia? <laughs> I honestly don't know because I haven't been following Melo these days. Yeah. I think Melo should just stay Melo. You know, he's, he's been, he's been the, the franchise there for a while. Who cares about Przingis, even though he's a good guy? Melo has to step up. Melo has to be like, this is my squad, Przingis. And, it, and there was that conflict between Przingis and Melo, so. I don't think it was a big conflict, though. But it was two different playing styles. Like, it's, Carmelo doesn't want to run the, tri- well, obviously the triangle coaching, is the gone. Triangle's no one wants gone. to run the, the triangle's, triangle's gone. To be honest. It's gone. Don't do that. Yeah. Yes. Triangle's gone. It's Phil gone. Jackson's gone. They have a new like yeah. whole system going, yeah. but like. So Carmelo's gonna be gone. I I believe so. I think New York uh, New York's not gonna have him anymore because I feel like Carmelo wants to win a ring, and I don't think he's gonna win in, with New York. I mean, if he wants to stay in New York, he's gonna retire as a New York Nick and then probably potentially not win a ring at all. So best two options is Houston with the uh, Chris Paul and James Harden, but I don't know how that'll work out. Or there's the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Kyrie Irving. Mark, what do you think? Well, it, it's, uh, it's not so much that Houston or Cleveland really wants him. It's more of the fact that he made a statement that I'm only going to you know, waive my no-trade clause unless I'm being traded to these two teams or I'm, being, you know, I'm bought out and signing to these two teams, right? So he wants to go to these uh, teams. It's, it's a matter of uh, who is willing to really give up assets, who is willing to really... Um, Give up something to get Carmelo back uh, to get Carmelo in because really it it would be a lot easier for them if he if the Knicks decide to buy him out and then he signs the minimum veteran uh, minimum contract like five point something million to one of these teams which is much you know this is this is why a lot Houston and Cleveland are not willing to do anything because why would they want to give up assets to get Carmelo on a trade where you know Carmelo is just willing to really just if you know he wants to be bought out so then he can sign to any team that he wants so no that's why Houston and Cleveland are not willing to give up asset because he can just say I I, I want to be bought out so what right? do you think do you think Carmelo might I, leave I, I think he would leave uh it's a matter of where does he see fit of his style of game which I think would be better in Houston because the fact that you got two uh you know really great playmakers that, you know, I know, I know James Harden can be a ball hog at times, can demand the ball, so is Chris Paul, but both of them can really make plays, and that's something that Camaro needs. Whereas in, uh, in Cleveland, he'll have Kyrie, who's kind of a ball demand, but he, he's more of a scorer, and Love as well needs the ball kind of to be set up for him. So LeBron's going to be the only playmaker where you have in, New York, uh, in Houston, you're going to have two playmakers that's going to set you up, which is what Carmelo needs because he just wants to score. And it's two different systems. It's Tyron Lue's system, which yeah. is essentially LeBron's system. Yeah. And then there's Mike D'Antoni's system, which is a better system to be fit in with a more passing, more, you know, ball, well, not really ball handling, uh, ISO play, but like passing off the ball, being able to share it, being unselfish, which I think James Harden and Chris Paul might be able to do. And they'll, they'll set a, their egos aside and like actually try to, you know, Probably try to play together. Mm. But also, uh, the Dan Tony system also relies on exactly what they were trying to do. Shoot a lot of threes. And guess who's, guess who's good at shooting quick threes? Who? Um, Mello. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Golden State Warriors too. Oh, okay. but yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you, it's, it's known, like, especially like, come on, who plays 2K? You know Carmelo's shot is one of the quickest shots out there. So Mello in Dan Tony's system, in a... In a way, he has the green light. Again, like you said, he'll, they'll, there's playmakers that will give him the ball. All he has to do is it, jack him up, man. In terms, in terms of what he wants right now, if he wants, uh, if he wants to win, I think he should go to Cleveland because I don't think there's no way Houston right now can win any, can go anywhere past second round. Only Just be because of how good the West team. is right now. Mm. I think they're not, they don't have enough of good pieces to play defensively. You know, that's one thing you got to do in the playoffs. Yeah. And, and, and I think Cleveland has a better chance to go again back to the finals because right now the East got even weaker right now if you really think about it. And now if he goes to Cleveland, that's even you know, more firepower for Cleveland, which they needed when they were facing Golden State. They didn't have enough firepower to, mm. to go against Golden State. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I'm just... 
That Carmelo Anthony. That Carmelo trade is like I can't believe I can't believe it's gonna happen, bro. It might it might it's gonna happen. He's not gonna stay in the New York Knicks, so there's Hopefully. no point for him. Like he's getting older and the team's getting younger, even though they have really bad contracts with a yeah. couple of players like Noah and Courtney Lee. But they drafted, you know, a decent point guard right now. I don't think they're gonna sign Derrick Rose back, right? And no. Porzingis, they should build around Porzingis. And Porzingis' game does not blend with Carmelo's game. It does just not. He's too good of a player. Yeah. To not to give him another year of just like you know. He had his chance yeah. in 2012 with Tyson Chandler, Armari Stoudemire, Iman Shumpert, and Jared Smith. That whole squad that went to the Eastern Conference. Yeah. But I mean, I think his time is up with New York Knicks. He needs. I want him to win a ring before he retires. Which is pretty close to, you know, he's about to retire soon. 